I'm doing a peek at your person love tarot reading. All right, so Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Feel free to cross watch, but don't force anything to fit. Okay, it is a general reading. Also, Virgo, stick with me till the end. I have a really fun, exciting announcement. All right, so stay tuned. All right, so Virgo, I'm going to do your overall energy, your person's overall energy, and then see what comes out with their current energies, blockages, how they feel about you, potential outcome, and so on. So your overall energy for this connection is go the distance. I'm going to take those. Go the distance and chaos and conflict. So I feel like there's been maybe some arguments, disputes, or some conflict going on here. Um, I feel like, Virgo, you really are like in the energy of wanting things to go the distance, wanting things to stand the test of time, be strong, fight for this, keep going, all right? I feel like your person feels like there's unfinished business. They have imagine and observer. So... This could be love and separation, all right? I feel like there was maybe an argument or something that split you two up. Um, I feel like you're really wanting to put the work and effort in here, Virgo. Um, no surprise to me, you guys are very much like that in relationships. Um, I feel like this person does want or, or, or senses that things aren't fully over yet, but they're kind of in like a observing mode or going within reflecting mode. All right. So I feel like they're they're watching you or seeing what you're up to, but they're also looking at everything that has happened. But let's get into um, their current energies, current energies for Virgo's person. We have the Fool, Aries Energy, Four of Wands, and Ten of Wands. So being the Fool, taking that leap of faith into commitment, but there's something here of a burden. They may have felt like they jumped in too fast or things moved too fast. For some of you, the Four of Wands is the 11-11, make a wish, leveling up, next level of commitment, a reason to celebrate something like that so I feel like your person could be looking at it like all right I still love my Virgo I still want to be with them but I feel like we we took things too fast and it kind of created a burden here but I feel like they want to put that burden down yeah and then we have the tower scorpionic energy it's the ten of wands tens are ending so I feel like they want to end that burden um, there could have been a tower moment that just happened, some shocking news, a shocking event, things came crumbling down. So, I mean, if you're wondering if your person has been affected by this, if they even care, I, I feel like they do. Yeah, see, they want truth and clarity. They do want victory and their overall happiness. They do want a happy ending, a happy outcome here. They may want to come to you and speak some kind of truth. They, they want what's going to make them happy. And I do feel like they see that with you. There could, there might be a need for like communication or something. Let's see. What's the blockages here? Queen of Swords, Libra Energy, Libra Aquarius, Gemini. Someone could have been very cold, cut off, not really emotional or very blunt or harsh with their words. Maybe there's things that need to be cut off and cut out here in order for this relationship to thrive. All right. Could be dealing with another Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is Taurus predominantly. We do have two people here, though, showing up in a blockage. So it could be you. It could be them. Maybe both of you were blocking this. The Magician manifesting. Three of Swords. Oh. For some of you, this could have been a third-party situation. Your person may have been a fool. They could have been in a higher level of commitment with you, and then they were the fool. Caused the tower moment. I feel like there's regrets there around it. And now someone's brokenhearted. 
I feel like your person doesn't want this to be over you. However, Virgo, I feel we're thinking this was going to go the distance. I was planning my life around this. I was happy and now it's chaos and conflict. What else is blocking this? Page of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. There could have been an age difference between the two of you. It doesn't have to be. I feel like it was almost like a false sense of stability between the two of you. And I feel like, I got to say, I feel like it's your person that really wasn't putting in the work and effort. Virgo, I know you guys put in a lot of work and effort into things that you really want. So, and, and go the distance. I feel like you really were in this person... You didn't. For some of you, you may have met at work, through work, or something like that. There could have been lies, sneaky behavior, deception, manipulation. Again, with the magician in the blockage, there could have been manipulation or fuckery, trickery, things like that. A false sense of something. Hmm. How does this person truly feel about you, Virgo? How do they truly feel about you? Like that card wanted to come out. In reverse. It's the Empress Taurus energy. In reverse, though. You could have been... You... Okay, so... This may not be the truth. It's their truth. It's their perspective with the Empress in reverse. I feel like this person right now is like thinking, Virgo, you're not going to approach this with like a loving, caring, sensitive side. I feel like your feelings are hurt. You got burned. And now they're feeling like you're very much like that Queen of Swords, very cold and cut off. Seven of Pentacles. They may see you waiting or planting seeds without them. Six of Pentacles. Six of Wands. They're, they're watching you. They're seeing what you're up to on social media or talking through friends of friends or whatever. They're trying to get the scoop on what you're up to. They could be looking back on old photos and things like that, but... I feel like this person, yeah, they know you want equal give and take, and they know they weren't giving you equal give and take. There was no reciprocity here. They know that you want victory and success. They know that that's what you're after, long-term commitment, leveling up a forever person. They know that you want that, and I feel like they see you kind of like waiting. You're still hurt. You're still bothered by this, rightfully so. Your feelings are your feelings, you know, especially if they did something. Yeah, they see you like, should I, shouldn't I, will I, won't I? They could be doing that in order to reach out to you. That Ten of Swords wanted to come out before. They know they stabbed you in the back. They know that there was some kind of toxic energy or they fell for some kind of temptation. And they know it hurt you that they're acknowledging that they know that they hurt you, this hurt, they hurt bad. They broke your heart, they betrayed your trust, they let you down, all because of a temptation or, or a toxic way. And they caused that conflict and now you don't know what to do. I feel like, mm -hmm. yeah. They want a new start in love. They want the wheel to start turning again. It's like they want this and you're in this energy. Completely confused, conflicted, trying to be emotionless towards this person. I can sense that, Virgo. You, you guys are very much emotionally cut off right now because you've been hurt. And I'm not saying emotionally cut off. Like you're dealing with your emotions. There is pain. But when it comes to this person, like if they've texted you or called, like you're just like one word answers, very like cold because you're you're trying to heal your hurt. You feel completely stabbed in the back. I feel like it was it was very painful. 
very painful. And now they want a new start. But let's get into a potential outcome here. What's the potential outcome? Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, Five of Pentacles. Feeling left out, abandoned, left hanging. Sagittarius Energy here, I meant temperance, same thing. Uh, something could be divinely guided here or going with the flow or patience. There's definitely something here to do with waiting or patience, things taking time. There's that fool, Aries energy. Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. This is kind of, I feel like it's just reiterating the story here. I feel like your person played a game, play, fell into player ways, fell for temptation, something like that. They, they were a fool. And I know the fool is like taking that leap of faith into the unknown. I feel like they do want to take that leap of faith with you, but I feel like it, that is something that would need to be reciprocated here. I feel like both of you would need to be like, all right, let's, let's try this again. Ace of Pentacles, a brand new, solid, stable beginning. What else? Potential outcome, potential outcome. Temperance, there's also a degree of like healing with that, divinely guided. See, see, bring that loving, caring, nurturing energy back into this connection. I feel like that will, will return. And I do feel like there is like a fertile new beginning here with abundance, Taurus energy. They were seeing you as the Empress in reversed, and I feel like they're they're really going to try to bring this back. That they, they feel like there's unfinished business here. They they feel like yeah. This could also stand for this Capricorn energy second time it came out that there's such a strong bond between the two of you, like not a rope, a chain. Like this person I feel feels very bonded to you or to your energy, like a soulmate energy. But you may always wonder, are they going to fall for temptation again? I feel like you're still in the should I, shouldn't I energy. Six of Swords. Moving on to calmer waters, communication about this tower moment, about the stress, the anxiety that it caused. I feel like, Virgo, you're definitely going to be standing your ground. You're probably going to set some boundaries here, but I do feel like this could come back together. All right. Um, scorpionic energy, judgment. I feel like the and tower scorpionic energy. I feel like you're going to stand your ground and you're going to communicate to this person how much this hurt and how they broke your trust and how you don't know if you can forgive them. All right. But I do feel like you want to reconcile and I feel like they do too. Because you really you thought this was going somewhere. You thought this was going to be forever. It really could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with. It could be any sign, though. I have a lot of Scorpionic energy here. I have Gemini. I have Aries. Taurus. Sag. Could be anyone, guys. But I do see it coming back together. But I, I feel like you're going to express this to this person and they're actually going to listen it's not going to be an argument they're actually going to to listen to what you have to say because they know they were wrong they know they messed up all right let's see what's the biggest obstacle virgo is going to have to overcome in this connection biggest obstacle we'll get into that right after this quick mess thank you so much for sticking with me until this point in your reading it is not over i just wanted to make a real quick announcement I am doing a 10K subscriber giveaway. A bunch of goodies are going to be given out, and I'm so excited. I can't wait. Uh, one of them is an iPad Air and also crystals, 
tarot decks, oracle decks, all that fun stuff. So please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button to help me circulate these videos. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the information's in the description box below. And let's get back Obstacles. into your goals. We have stress. Yeah, you don't say. So overcoming the stress of this, the outsider, the guilt, and the morals. Yeah, so how this person... Hmm, overcoming the guilt that this person carries and and the morals that you your standards your boundaries and how they went outside that and crossed it that's the biggest obstacle here so basically in a nutshell is forgiveness can you forgive them wholeheartedly and move on from this can you trust them again can this go back to how it was can that be found again in this connection and I feel like those are the questions you're going to ask yourself when when you feel ready to talk to this person. Because I feel like right now you're not. I feel like right now it's either you're going to snap at them, you're giving them one word answers, you're, you're just being very blunt with this person, very cold. Um, because you're hurting and you need time to heal. And I feel like this person understands. I feel like they're trying to give you space. They're watching you, though. <laughs> Virgo, they are watching you. They got their eye on you. Oh, all right, let's see. What other messages do we have? Union, reconciliation, eternal love. Your time has come. Union. Self-worth. This is the this is the problem here. You you value your self-worth. Value, self-esteem, confidence. Be empowered by valuing yourself and karmic partner. There was a lesson here. I feel the lesson was more for your person. Usually it's a lesson for both of you, but I feel like your lesson is probably the self-worth or actually both of you. You're, but in a different dynamic. I feel like yours is more like, what did I learn about how to forgive or how to value myself and not just go running back to somebody after they hurt me. You're actually taking time to heal and you're taking time for you before you just run back in and start another karmic cycle. You're actually doing the work to heal and taking the time you need. Okay. I feel like their um, lesson here was to not let their insecurities trigger the, the temptation or the toxicity or toxic nature or whatever you want to call it, okay? I feel like that was their lesson, to set those boundaries, to, to know their worth, your worth, the value of this connection together, all right? But karmic partner, conventional relationship, duty, bound by societal conventions. I do feel that strong, that strong um, soul bond as well here in this connection. So, all right, what other messages for Virgo? Stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Yeah, you feel stabbed in the back. I mean, some of you are like, I'm not getting back with this person. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm saying the, the chance of it could happen. The thought of it for some of you, the thought of getting back together with this person stresses you the heck out. Just the thought of it, how much this hurt. But passion, there's insane chemistry here. You like each other equally, having fun, passion. There's attraction, passion, desire, and chemistry. And that's why this is so hard. Clock, need time, takes time, time and cycles, time to heal progress. Mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds and introspection. So... I'm not seeing like mirroring as far as like you're doing what they're doing and that kind of a thing. I feel like you guys trigger each other somehow or brought out some kind of bad memory or old stuff that was buried came up to the surface. All right. Uh, let's see. What else? What would this person like to say to you, Virgo, if they could? What would they like to say? All right. Time passes, but my feelings don't change, even though you no longer trust me with your heart. I'm sorry for judging you and hurting your feelings. It hurts to see online that you've moved on with your life. So you might be going out with friends, 
and posting fun stuff, all right? Um, my spirit is always with you. Can you feel me? Do you still love me too? Soul bond. Being apart has been more difficult than I can accept. My memories of you haunt me and keep me thinking about what could have been. This person messed up, but they are going through it. They, they, they're they learning a hard lesson, Virgo. Hard, hard lesson. All right. I should have believed in you. You always have my best interests at heart. I'm confused about what I should do about my feelings for you. Yeah, so time... Time. I do feel it It could. If you want it, it could come back together. All right. All right, Virgo, that is what I have for you this week. Please subscribe to my channel. Enter into the 10K 